Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Monster Hunter Z Zenith, your favorite host in Dark Lord Death Marcher, and today we are going to continue our series. You guys, there's a lot of large and time consuming Halo Dragons, and this is going to be the first of four. <laughs> so please, in there with me, I'll cut it down as much as I can, but I can promise everything. Maybe half an hour, maybe 25. And also for you guys, still want to know about stats. I haven't changed this on set out in a while, so it's plus. Critical eye plus three, high grade ear plus, attack up medium, pick with this plus one. Look at him, how majestic. Okay, so the Lord goes, he's running away from Fate House. Running away where? We don't know. Apparently it's been working for him. Which are the oldest of their species. Something's gotta be good. So. And don't worry you guys. We'll discover that agony that agony later. <laughs> well agony for me, you're not gonna you don't have to wait that. Barrel bombs, anti dragon bomb, ballista eyes, three whetstones, med kit rations. Even though this is technically a high rank quest, I I know, I know, but it's also a very scripted quest. So you know, I know that sounds like it makes no sense to anybody who doesn't play more than but hey, you're a newcomer. The game is way too long. The game is way too long. Do not play multiple monsters at the same time. Bad, bad decision. Fun decision. And I was thinking about it for a while. Should I start a world series? Then I was like, I don't have the gear for that. Because I have that on PlayStation, but like... The mic quality on PlayStation isn't quite there if you don't get like a professional mic. Like a Sony authenticated mic. <laughs> Oh, well, since he's gonna take a minute, I'm gonna take a load off. Oh. Yori! I see you enjoyed the animation. But I'm still gonna ask a question that's been bothering me for a while, guys. What happens when I max out the element, the elemental attribute of D-Wing over here? Because I maxed him out nice because I thought I would just be helpful. Because I seen a real need for the ice element, but uh, there's only a couple places I can get it from because this is before Gaia Prey became a thing, so. I'm kind of stuck here. It's basically between that and Blank Gonga. Sorry, not the Gaia Prey, the Gaia Drone. The Gaia Prey is still in game. The Gaia Drone hasn't become a thing yet because this isn't Freedom Unite. Oh, 
Oh, hello! Music started. Are we gonna get to the fight? Okay, that missed effect is really weird. Really Barrel bomb. Classic kick loser. The pleasant thing I found when playing Two Frontier is monster weapons that I didn't know they have weapons for, like a cut through long sword or cut through dual swords. I know they have, I know they have cut through dual swords, but they don't turn halfway into that. Like usually, cut through stuff have a habit of turning into hungry. But the fact that it's actually beating weapon setup, I don't think that's so it feels I remember mostly just the hammer. And that's the really good. the weakest part of his body. I want to say it's on him because I want to be able to hit him with the extra gun. Because I have had many a time that kind of failed. And people say CJOs is a bad boss fight compared to this. I'm like, they're both tiring, but CJOs at least have been doing a lot of stuff in between. Some of these shows say Kobe Karate is a better version of both. Like the epic giant monster. But come on, nobody remembers John Moran. But I guess that just they're all C class monsters. Why not?
Well, no, no, no. The best thing is that definitely Godmon. Take up. Godmon, yes. Maybe one day he can. Maybe one day. Straight to area three and area four. If we just hit his stomach over and over again. And yes, even though this is an older monster in the game, we still have sub quests. They're not as plentiful, but they're there. The most interesting part about Frontier I've yet to show you guys, and that's a combination of Hunter's Road and the Caravan. Which, Hunter's Road is fighting monsters back to back in a set arena, while the Caravan is going from mission to mission back to back. But the caravan is accessed after my, uh, Hunter Rank 2 and Hunter's Road is accessed in G -Rank. Maybe I might do a short mini series. I'll, maybe it'll start it out slow with the caravan. I'll make it separate from the actual let's play. I'm gonna wear whatever I want. Whenever I want it. At least with this, I try to keep I keep it the same because I could have up I could have fight more high rank Uber Biora. I put a lot more damage in the second. But that wouldn't be good. Same thing with the arm there. So until we get through every single monster, I will not I know the Necro is not exactly how it's supposed to be because they tried to set it up so there's a little bit of new, a little bit of old. I know that's why something has a big defeat where spawn in the base camp gets an update. The monster's overall health and damage are exactly. Because I noticed that with, uh, depends on the digital arena quest, you might not just get I am bouncing away and attacking fucking. Oh, do I still have that kill? They are recording me from I want to you say bye. I usually like to show roguelike, but I was kind of guilty when I'm going to jump. I was thinking of continuing it, but then I have to go through the entire library. Okay, so that's good. I just need like way more practice, and maybe I should put down the because I like the swing stick element. I 
I like the spoon trick element, but I don't think I'm good at it in that game. I could just keep on learning. Hell in. I do it. But that game is really hard. Like, the concept of itself is hard. You take negative spec items to give you a chance and that could be terrible things in a roguelike like no keys means no opening the doors no picking up parts no more pickup taking more damage magnetization it's just so much random stuff also making items straight up If you have, if I have the axe, what is my easiest weapon? I know people don't understand. There's an easy weapon, there's your main, and there's just weapons you can't quite get the hang of, and then there's the hunting horn, but we're not going to talk about that quite yet. Because I like the charge blade. My old fashioned shot and shield not failed me in any more on the game but when the charge play came out that was the best game. That was the crazy person. Even though my easiest weapon is still long sword, I still find it extremely easy. Just with the amount of evasion and damage output and reach. Reach is the strongest thing you will ever have, especially on other monster on the game. There's nothing that you can do to talk about. This is just raw monster, no gimmick, no touch claw. I think we have one gimmick. That's transcendent. No touch claw, no mounting, sword art. Sorry, hunter skills, too, we have a does more slash damage. And Saki still uses poison. I should have used uh, a... I would give a Lao Shen Long Duel Sword. Lao Shen Long Duel Sword. Yes. I could have fought the lower end, but the fear of the fight. I'm given an uppercut out of the 10 feet. No thing. Okay, you just don't feel it. I got What's on the side me with these so proud? 
And somebody gotta tell me what is on Summer's Drive, because it ain't on Summer's the ultimate, but it, but it's not any other on Summer's game. To be safe, they took away almost half the weapon roster, and then gave you a new one and reintroduced another. But it's really harder in this sheer difficulty because how your stats are. Because if you play if you play three ultimate, you have a base 50. You have a base in zero with no armor inside. And I want like I know that's not like a huge shift in defense on here. But that just adds something to it. And also the fact that multiple multiple monsters are added. Which means ease for fighting a like monster down the line a little bit easier. Because you're not getting a fire weapon tell you fight for a package. That'll be your only source of fire weapon tell you fight something like that. The Drea Cut is your own source of light to find another way to make it. But I noticed, I noticed other games and Frontier Pool and I know, no, other games technically they put one monster as a dedicated like version of that element. But Frontier kind of does this weird mix and mix thing. Well, for this monster, he covers this group of weapons, fire, and this monster covers the other group of weapons. And I think it's a toss up between Tetsu, Teostra, and Baphomet. I know that you get racing team weapons that are also fire. But I'm trying to figure out how is that boss. Well, technically it is not. Oh, it's a gun line. Think of it hard. Get it? You or did you get it? You're trying to figure out what you were like a softball. Racing doesn't have fire, okay? Please he does. But about the hunting horn, I find the hunting horn to be either a mess weapon, this weapon, outright unplayable. And I have the bus out to spread feet on the second screen <laughs> to figure out how to figure out how to play it. Because honestly, the way it works is cumbersome in this game times two. This one and Freedom Unite. The hunting horn is cumbersome times two, and what I mean by that is, first of all, you already not. Frontier Hunting Horn and Dream Knight Hunting Oh yeah, and it also plays continuously. I forget, in the older one you literally had to do it swing for swing and that's just annoying. I like it in newer ones where the actual attacks is a music note, so you can go for the next attack if you want to, but like if the note there and you just happen to see it pop up, you can go for it. But I still miss the double note mechanic from Generations. Now that just made hunt aggressive hunting horn extremely satisfying. Echoes from World was nice, but aggressive hunting horn. The double note for double effect, playing the previous effect on top of that and still being able to encore with it. But anyway.
do you think guy do you have faith in me? Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can run back and grab the cannonball? Before Lao Shin runs back to the fortress. And I seriously don't know I seriously don't know why other people don't get it. This entire series is an inside joke to me. Does anybody who knows Monster Hunter knows why? People who don't know Monster Hunter wouldn't understand it. Cannonball going out. Oh, I still need to break his box game. Try to do it. I'm here with the dragon lady. Look at that 18 round pack. Beautiful. Ah. Ah, four! Oh, the dude's going to the dragon. Seriously, I would love to move forward with the fight against the heart. Oh, you're doing the same thing. Oh, you're doing the same thing. out there on video please check the description down below you might be able to play it on video i already seen i already seen video footage of the person you can ask around see if you can actually to get some information how to get your version of the Okay. Oh, I'm 
I could go to the higher and come back down and do the sound that oh that there is some resistance and help me don't try this and a gun is a straight up unplayable I think you're trying to actually kill a loud chin lens with a gun Who was just not gonna have to move I don't do that. I don't think you need to be loud in on
<laughs> okay. It's like a little off to the side. Man, that looks a little crown. Well, Zicky even wanna let him go. I already know his location. That's an aggressive guy. But D Wing did drop or something. Oh, unflinching, I already have that. But we will see what we get. Claw, one claw, one horn, scales, carapace, let large rusted stone, ancient stone rod, and get some dust work. Another set of, uh, another horn. Uh, we're not worrying about the you night know, stuff at this point. The area award. I get. Oh, I got three coins for the price of one. Anyway, guys. Oh, I see the festival. Okay. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And subscribe for more Monster Hunter Frontier Z Zenith content. With your favorite host, Beth Maestro. See you guys.